All right, so you just made yourself your brand new, possibly, potentially, number one hit song for the Billboard Chart 100. Whether it be a beat or whether it be an actual song that's going to purify the soul of sinners, it doesn't matter. You just made yourself a new song and now you're looking for yourself an album cover. A song cover. They go by a slew of different names. Anyway, keep it locked. Right here, I'm going to show you my process to creating my album covers and what you can do to create yours and make them look just as dope, if not better, than the professionals. So let's get right to it. Yeah. Anime, yeah, I rep it. YouTube, here comes the legend. All I run, I hear them calling me. It's coming to Kudo 17. Oh, yeah. What's coming to Kudo 17? Yeah. I hope you will subscribe to me. Yeah. And leave a like and comment. Before we begin, I'm going to need my drawing pen. Of course, my handy dandy notebook, aka my drawing tablet. Also, I gotta rock the Picasso glove for drip. And some good old headphones for music. Okay, so here we are. We are on our computer screen here. And whatever program suits your fancy. I know some of you guys may use Adobe Illustrator. Um, Krita is the one that I use, it's an illustration program. And this is just for those people that prefer to actually illustrate their um, their album covers or song covers. The cool thing about song covers is that you can pretty much do whatever you want with them. Uh, me personally, I like to try and keep it within the realm of whatever the song kind of pertains to or whatever I feel matches best with that song. I can, I can sort of personify what I have envisioned for the song with the pencil. Um, so I know you guys have said you've been wanting a drawing video. So this is kind of close, sort of, you know. Um, maybe I can start working some more of that in for 2021. Guys, let me know in the comment section below if you like to see anything drawn to some on the pen and pad now. But yeah, here we are to show you guys here. You can see that my canvas is 3000 by 3000. Now those are the proper dimensions for an album cover. So keep that in mind, no matter what you're editing in, make sure that your dimensions are 3000 width, 3000 height because everyone will be happy with that. You will be happy to make your job a lot less difficult. Um, now you can, you can like if you are drawing it out, like I'm doing here, you could, I mean, you can do another resolution and then later scale it to 3000 by 3000, but then you get into all the weird distortion and no one likes distortion, you know, am I right? So I just go ahead and ameliorate it by already having my canvas set in Krita. Now I don't do all of my album covers in Krita. I, I don't. Uh, it's just like I said, it's whenever I feel like drawing, out on album cover to sort of best um, capture the message of the song or what I have envisioned for said songs that I've wrote and recorded. Um, but this one that you're seeing right now looks like, you know, just a normal guy smiling with an evil smirk. Well, he's actually going to be in the avatar state. So, cool thing there. This is um, the album cover for a new single I have coming out really soon called Elemental. You guys, you should check that out whenever it drops. I'm telling you, this is one of my hardest tracks. Ever. Anyway, so I would say a good rule of thumb, guys, if you are doing an album cover, uh, if you're going to have any sort of text, make sure said text is very legible. Make sure that it really stands out on the album cover, um, you know, if you have text. In this album cover in particular, I'm really sort of focusing more on the subject, the um, individual we have here, which is essentially going to be me in the avatar state. So, you know, spoiler, you guys know I'm a nerd. Yeah, if any of you guys were looking for a software to sort of draw in, uh, maybe just for practice or if you just want to get into some some more serious art, uh, I do recommend Krita. It's got a lot of great tools. Um, as you can see here, it looks a lot like uh, looks a lot like Photoshop in some ways. It sort of has that Photoshop interface, but it's definitely not like Photoshop anyway. But I mean, you can do like pretty much everything here, guys. You can scale. Um, you can also animate here, which is which is great. They got a wide variety of brushes that you can choose from. So I'm thinking I'll do earth, wind, water, fire. Yeah, there should be enough room for all those. Good. I'm definitely going to revise these. This is extremely rough right now. So, moving along. For those of you that actually are not illustrators, if you prefer to do more abstract things um, or use photos, I have a great website that you guys probably you're gonna want to use um, for album covers it's really good I mean like almost every tool you can think of is here it's it's really like Photoshop 
but it's like an online Photoshop and it's free, which is the absolute best part. Now you can also use Krita for this as well, but um, I find this website to be a little bit easier and I feel like there's a bit more power here too when it comes to more, uh, I guess, graphical enhancements on things so it really gives you that that graphic design feel so it's just great I've actually made several images here as you guys can see it did a logo for a client here um, this is the album cover for doing me I actually did make that here if you guys have heard the song uh, doing me just dropped it maybe like a week or two ago uh, well yeah more like a week coming on too but uh, yeah about a week ago doing me check it out if you haven't heard it um, but yeah so uh, I'll be leaving the website link to this one down in the description box below. Pixlr.com. And essentially all you do is, I mean, you just come here, you just come to Pixlr, and they've got a bunch of templates that you can actually choose from. You can see uh, they've got collage templates here. Um, there are a bunch of other templates right over here you can choose from. You can just see, I mean, you can, like, you can create some really incredible looking images with this website. I mean, it's, it's really insane. Whoever created it was genius. And they even have layouts here, so um, in case you weren't sure about the dimensions of certain things, say for instance you were looking for um, the dimensions for Twitter banner, they have that here. They got Web 720p for your YouTube thumbnails or any of the thumbnails you want, Square Ultra HD, Instagram, Facebook profile. So lots and lots of options here. We're going to go ahead and go right into it. I've got a 1920 by 1080 um, layer here. And as you can see, I mean, and the, the interface, it isn't even that intimidating. So uh, it's it's pretty it's pretty user friendly, I would say. Of course, you can play around with it to get really advanced with it. But I mean, you've got your options for text here. Um, you got all sorts of adjustments you can make. Now I don't have anything here, but you can see you got auto adjust, auto pop, auto black and white, temperature and tint, vibrance, exposure. And I mean, the list goes on and on. You've got all these filters here, guys. You can play around and tweak these however you like which is amazing. You can even cut out backgrounds here. You can draw here as well. So it allows you to, uh, if you want to plug in like a drawing tab like I've got here, and just draw out whatever you want, you can do that as well. And um, of course, remember, you can always go up here, uh, resize your canvas, make sure it's gonna be 3,000 by 3,000 by the time you are done with your production. Um, so that you won't have any issues when you're about to upload your album cover or your album art, song art, what have you, to whichever platform you're trying to upload it to. But that's really it though guys, that's really my process for it, uh, for creating album covers. Um, just, you know, whatever you want to go for, um, main thing, make sure that your width and your height are 3000 by 3000. Um, and just remember you can get as creative as you want. When, when it comes to creating an album cover, you know, it's your song, so, you know, whatever you feel, whatever you feel matches that song or gets the message across better, uh, go for it, you know. Uh, like me, I definitely like to always put, like, the title of my song on the album cover, if it's a single. If it's not an album, if it's just a single, like a song cover, or, sorry, just a song, <laughs> not a song cover. Well, I guess song cover. Ah, just a song, you know, I'll try and put the song title on there with an image. Um... And most times I try to, to leave like wiggle room for both the uh, text and the image. Sometimes I will prioritize one over the other to kind of just bring out focus. But overall, you just want want you, you don't want anything too much on the eyes. You know that's what it comes down to mainly. Um, but you know I always remember to be artistic with it. Uh, that's what it comes down to. And I hope this was able to help you guys. Like I said, I'm going to be leaving the links to both Krita down in the description box below and Pixlr. Use those tools, guys. You can create some amazing productions, I promise. Oh, I should also mention, um, format. What format should you export your album cover in? Well, um, I would say JPEG, so JPG, uh, or JPEG. I don't really think there's much of a difference. For those of you image connoisseurs, let me know if there's a difference between those two. I don't think there is, though. Um, because PNG is more when you want to do like transparency work, which is good if you want to like throw in a bunch of like abstract stuff or like have a cutout of yourself or like other stuff going on in the background, kind of like what I did with my Doing Me song cover. So, uh, PNG for that route, but uh, I'd say all in all, JPEG can't go wrong with JPEG. And remember, 3000 by 3000. Now, guys, you've made your hit song. 
So get out there and make yourself a dope album cover. Or, you know, if you want to, you know, hire someone to perhaps do this work for you, I'm just saying, you know, like not put myself out there, but you know, your boy got the sauce. So that's really it, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Also, remember, check out the merch shop. I do have a merchandise shop. I've had one for a little while now. I've been meaning to promote it on more of my videos, but I'm going to start pushing that a bit more. If you guys want to buy some of my merchandise, you want to help me out a bit more aside from just watching the videos, I'll leave that link down in the description box below too. And I'll also have some little previews of the clothing floating around. Um, on screen somewhere. You'll see it. I'd love to hear you all's feedback. If you guys want to see more drawings, I'm getting more into drawing now. Uh, I just, I took a little bit of a hiatus, but I'm, I'm really back on it. Harder than I've ever been before because uh, I get a good bit of client, clientele, coming in to, um, have me to draw, like, graphics for them. So, I'm back on drawing a lot more. So, hey, hire your boy for some work, you know? I don't mind. Just hit me up on my socials, email, uh, Either one. Wherever you can reach me, guys. Um, probably the best way to reach me is probably Instagram. Probably Instagram. Uh, and Twitter, too. But mainly Instagram. So, yeah, with that being said, hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Don't let COVID bite you, baby. And I'm going to be out of here. You guys have a wonderful night or day. I don't know. Peace, guys.